So I went through all my stuff to see what I have left over from like, you know, all the planner subscriptions and stuff that I used to buy and from the uh, swaps and everything. So here I have just a stack of like inserts, you wanna say? Yeah, I have like a stack of inserts, like a lot of inserts. So I have all these here. Then, oh, that was my toe. Then I have some empty small planners, which I plan on utilizing um, just because of all this health stuff. But I have this one. This is a A6 size. Then I have a travel one, and I definitely like this one because of the, I love butterflies. So I saw this. I'm like, I had to have it, you know. So I'm free. I know I, know I want to use this. So <clears throat> have that. Then I still have one of my Notiques. I don't, I know I'm not going to use this because I already have two, I think I already used, or just one. And then I remember I brought this, and I love this one. This is for just the journal ones, and like just having this just here. And it's still just like I have all the to-do lists and stuff that I have in here. So I'm going to put this back in rotation. So these two, maybe this one I'm going to put back in rotation. Then I have mini notes. This is just blank paper, no paper. I have an antique one. Again, just blank. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. This is, again, I got it because of butterflies. So, and this is nothing but just notes. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Then I have a larger one for notes. <clears throat> this is on the list that I had in here. So I have this one. And then it's this one right here. But honestly, I think I'm going to use this one for when I go to the myriad of doctors that I have to see and appointments. And, you know, when they talk to me and I, you know, my mom's with me and I don't understand everything, I can write that here. So I think I'm going to put this in rotation for my medical notes, some of my medical journal. <clears throat> I have tons. I'm not going to show you the thing that no pads. If I do, it'll be later after this one. But I have some notepads. This is this was the one I had for school. This is appointments, which I actually put in my telephone. So I can keep that there when they call. Then this is an agenda one. Then this is a daily plan. This is a this week. And then here is one for the week that can go on my desk. But I don't have my desk yet because I'm still <clears throat> uh, buying furniture for my house. You know, I'm trying to find that perfect piece. This is my paper Kindle that I just found and had to charge. Then these are some notebooks that I would like to put in rotation again. I think this will come in handy appointments because, yeah, I'm going to keep a track of all the appointments I have to go to. This fitness one, I'm not sure. I kind of like how I have it. In my book, like this is cool, but there's so much more stuff that I have to track, so I'm not sure. I don't know, I may use this as like a supplement, which is what I really want to do. Then this is just a monthly planner. Um, then I have the Go Get a Journal, which I think would help. I'm not sure. I know I'm gonna end up using it and everything, but this is gonna be like an everyday, it's probably like a check in twice a month type of thing. Then this is something that I oh, just blinded myself. This is something I got when I still had uh, my uh, Aaron Condren. I mean, it's decent. It has notes. It's just a petite planner and everything. So it's kind of, it's you know, it's okay. Intentions, goals, and then it just has, you know, just paper. And then it goes again. So I'm not sure about that one. And this one I like is the Journal Prompt for Black Women, so I'm definitely going to keep that. So, have a few <clears throat> things that I'm going to put into rotation. <sighs> then I have these edits for, I have, um, this is all my happy planner stuff. And I do plan on making just like one big happy planner, you know. Um, not sure what I'm going to use it for. But I have tons of paper, I have all inserts and everything, so I do plan on putting that back in rotation. This is my financial planner. 
and I'm I still use it um, I don't think I'll get another one for next year I kind of think I may want to have everything together but right now since I'm still using this put that with my other planners that are still in rotation and then I have my school planner I took basically a year off just tired got tired you know paid tuition in cash and just tired of that shit so um, I will be starting back in January to finish my degree I only have like five classes left so I just want to get it over with so this is what I had for it was 2022 2023 when I was supposed to graduate but you know life is life so I'm just going to change everything from January 2023 to January 2025 redate everything and go back and use it because I, I, I like this this uh, school planner. I think this was the only school planner out of like several that I've seen that I like. You know, got the goals, the events, the notes, and the you know, projects that I have to do. And then I, I like the setup. It's just basic what I need, like the class or whatever it is, to-dos and always <clears throat> color code everything. And this is, this is just how I like it, especially when I have to do notes. You know, since I'm doing them online, sometimes we have meetings. I keep all the notes here and all that stuff. And it goes all the way. This one is going all the way through September. Like I said, I don't think I'll be in there until September. Um, I know I'm going to do fall and I may do summer classes. So I'll probably be graduating early before then. But then I still got the notes. I Look, this has even been, I haven't even filled it out yet. So. I can keep all my grades here, like I put down, this is before when I, uh, last semester, the last semester I was in, and everything, so I know I could just put everything here, and just continue utilizing it like I did when I first started, and yeah, so this, I'm going, this going to be in rotation in January, when I go back to school, and then... I had got a little whiteboard, so that way this would be the first thing that I see. But I have that one, and then I have this tarot journal, which I don't, I don't even think I'm gonna use that anymore. I think I'm just probably just going to put that in a trash because uh, I'm not doing it as much as I used to. But this is just all the stuff that I have extra, and I've been good. I haven't brought anything. Um, I haven't brought any planners, I haven't brought any utensils. I still have markers and tons and this is just the second set of pencils that I have, but I still have I have all this freaking washing that I barely use. I just started using it again. I haven't brought washing in like a couple of years, because you know. Yeah, so I have my washing all these little pens and markers and colored pencils for my coloring books that I have. These are more notepads that I got. Just more just more stuff. These are some more notepads and everything and little highlighters. Not highlighters, but tabs and all the other type of stuff. And I just have that one book. And then these are oh, uh, empty pens, so I think I'm pretty well to do and stocked and I could probably enter next year with some more <laughs> with more stuff so I think the only thing I'll end up buying next year are inserts um, cause this is this was my social media one so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with that again and then this one here is my spiritual journal which is very it's very packed it has a lot of stuff and then it's been written and everything so not really sure if I'm gonna continue on <clears throat> with this separate one but that's all that I have for now